Hey, welcome to Tea Smell Good, where I do discuss all things fragrance. If that interests you, hit the subscribe button, show your boy some love. For my fashion and style guys, I will be doing the bulk of my fashion and style content on my community page. Check me out. Guys, I have some more clones. You need to own volume six. Yeah, your boy T Smell Good, AKA the Clone Wizard. I got you guys. I'm gonna have you smelling incredible for the low ski, okay? Now the first one, one of my favorites, I recently discussed this, and this is from the house of Dunhill, Desire Red. Guys, this fragrance smells very similar to Bondi Lafayette Street. Got my nose on that fragrance for myself, right in sacks, and I'm telling you. <laughs> very similar, guys. Listen, apple, vanilla, teakwood, rose, dream. Guys, look at the juice level, guys. The juice level does not lie, and it never did. Highly recommended. I would say any season, really. For me. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, I love it, man. That apple, listen, my bottle has macerated beyond perfection. This bottle has to be at least three years old, guys. When your bottles go three years old, four years old, they go to macerating like you wouldn't believe, okay? But you can get this for the low ski. 15 bucks, man, for this size, or you can get the big one for like $20. Highly recommend it. I love it, okay? That's, that's um, Dunhill Desire Red, okay? Which is a clone of Monai Lafayette Street, guys. That fragrance is very expensive, okay? Next. Newest to my collection, and this is from the house of Luxador, and this is Loyal Agar. Guys, it smells very similar to Parfum de Marly Layton. Guys, listen, I paid 25 bucks, and this is a one ounce, which is more, I mean, this is a, yeah, this is a one ounce, 30 mil, which is more than enough for me. I'm telling you, for my collection, guys, when you go over 100 fragrances, you get 30 mil and on out, 10 mil, I can sample on out. I'm here, I'm serious, guys, straight up, but this is live. <laughs> Dead ringer for Layton, guys. Dead ringer. Ooh, it even has that uh that menthol kind of little stuff that Layton has going on. And it's basically a sweet kind of like menthol, kind of hard to describe, opening, great performance fall, winter, spring, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, maybe summer nights, okay, that would be ideal for this, great for a date night, guys, it really sets you apart on that date night, okay, now, I have an honorable mention that's also a clone of late, and I think it's a little better, but it's hard to find, and I really don't like to discuss fragrances, guys, that you can't get your hands on, can't get your nose on, that's kind of a waste, so I'm gonna leave it in the honorable mention category. And that is uh, the best the best make from this house. Richless Navy Blue Bottle. This is the best take, man. I love it. Very sensual. <laughs> One of, if not the most sexiest fragrance I have in my fragrance wardrobe, guys. This, imagine if you own Layton or heard of Layton, guys, if you're new. Imagine Layton minus that menthol note in the beginning. Get straight to the dry down of Layton. Imagine that. And that's this. Awesome. I love it. Very sensual, guys. It displays on the senses. Uh, very attractive. Very alluring. Very come hither. All of that. If you can get it, grab it, okay? Next. My fragrance of the day. Or mom. Club the Nui Intense Woman. Look at the bottle. Isn't she beautiful? But guess what? 
Unisex, yes. This is a clone of Tom Ford Noir de Noir. Guys, that fragrance is north of $300, guys, maybe $400. I paid 17 bucks, and I absolutely love it, guys. And it just goes to show. Well, basically, what you're going to get with this is rose, gourmand, sweetness. But, guys, this is a grown folk gourmand, dressed up, upscale, um, has a lot of body, has a lot of presence. You know, I'm all about mine. That's what this gives me but i'm gonna tell you just goes to show you guys i got my nose on this initially five years ago when my nose wasn't ready the rose was too prominent to me it smelled very feminine as roses come on that's identified with women we already know that it smelled very feminine and i gifted it immediately five years later unbelievable deal of 17 bucks i couldn't pass it got it now i love it that's what I'm saying. It took five years. It took a little while, but I love this fragrance, okay? I highly recommend you grab it. Again, when the fragrance goes cheaper, it's harder to get your nose on it. You can somehow, some way, get your nose on it. But at 17 bucks, if you like rose and you like a Gourmandi rose style fragrance, I think you may like it at 17 bucks. Hey, you may want to pull the trigger. Again, I never tell you what to do with your money, okay? I only recommend. Now, guess, Los Angeles, 1981. This is compared to Versace, Eros Flame. In my opinion, it's better. Why? This is a grown man falling with the joint. Yes, I call this the gingerbread man and the gingerbread man can. Opens up gingerbread -y with a vetiver dry down and i'm not even a huge fan of vetiver but i love it in here it just kind of holds the fragrance together and it has it's like a uh, foundation for the fragrance to sit on and kind of work its magic while it sits on that vetiver but guys mostly ginger spices guys listen where this juice color is present is also a good time okay <laughs> you can get these at your rack stores all day $14.99 this puppy sits closer okay it sits close to skin but that's a good thing guys I think we need to get away from this whole wanting a fragrance to blast across the street in last three days it, it's giving immature guys okay you wear your cologne let's be honest you this little, little big bro talk. I got one more to show you but let big bro talk to you guys I think the reason why beast mode fragrances and everybody wants a beast mode and want their fragrance to last three days, you're trying to pull a compliment out of people, guys. Compliments are not a guarantee. Unsolicited compliments, you know, outside of your family is not a guarantee, guys. It's just a space and time. A lot of times this happens when you first apply your fragrances. In that first hour, you're gonna get most of your compliments, guys. But it compliments or a space and time. And I think even a lot of the new fragrances um, that are coming out, some of them are riding on the box, man. Long lasting, and I've never seen that. They're listening, they're watching, they're hearing. People won't buy it if it won't last three days. It's giving them mature, guys, okay? Four to six hours is what you get with a fragrance that is reasonable. Reapply it. I promise to you it's gone, but to others it's not. Our nose is designed to recognize difference. If I burn up some popcorn after about an hour, I'm not going to smell it anymore. That doesn't mean the room doesn't smell like burnt popcorn. If I was to invite somebody to my crib and they were to come knock on the door, the first thing they're going to say is, who burnt the popcorn? Why? The nose is designed to recognize difference. You're not supposed to smell it after a while, guys, okay? So don't think it's gone. Now, if you want to reapply it for your personal, then cool, because you want to catch it again because your nose has gotten used to it like it's supposed to. Your nose is not supposed to smell it after a while, guys. We got to stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop, man. For real, man. Your fragrance is going to last how long it lasts. More of the story, guys, okay? All right. Now, last but most certainly not least, 
This is the highest, one of the highest quality of Ventus clones I have. Swiss Arabian Shank. Guys, one of, if not the most, photo realistic pineapple nose. Juicy pineapple with some smoke behind it. Guys, I love this fragrance. This is another one. This is an old dog parfum. This is closer to your skin, but it does last a long time. Very high quality. One of my best and most favorite renditions of the Aventus line, okay? 30, I paid like $33 for this a couple of years ago. I'm not sure where it's at now, but it can't be that much, okay? All right, guys. Well, those are my clones to own. Volume 6. Your boy got you on the clones, man. More coming soon. Guys, a good clone will get it done. Guys, you just want to get in the ballpark. Once you get in the ballpark, you in there. You do the rest. Close enough is good enough. I'll take 80% close enough. Because guess what? It, it grabs some of the original fragrance and does something on its own, which sets you apart even more. Okay? But it's kind of hard to beat. 20 30 40 dollars <laughs> you know some of these fragrances are 10 percent of the cost man it's it's hard to beat man but i got you for your clones man okay all right guys well thank you for taking time out your day for watching on the way out don't forget to like this does help the channel grow comment subscribe share and always turn the bell on so you're notified of when your boy is going live and oh Shout out to my guy, Chris. It's Chris' fault. I had took an uh, outfit of the day away. I felt you guys, I didn't think you guys was, was feeling the outfit of the day, so I stopped. My guy, Chris, say, what's up on the outfit of the day, man? I got y'all. Outfit. Uh, you see how your boy did that? Outfit. Uh, the day. The signature. Black. Kango. We have the darker shades we have the sport coat the black and red pocket square peep the detail baby peep the red right there peep the detail man don't rob the goldie that's why i changed my name y'all was robbing the goldie so i had to go to t smell good aka taylor may t aka when i wear this bad boy right here Pretty Tony. And Pretty Tony ain't no joke, man. You don't want to see Pretty Tony let loose, man. I really be having Pretty Tony on ice, you feel me? <laughs> and we have the dark wash blue jeans. No shoes in the crib. If I was to step out right now, black Chelsea boots, baby. Shut it down. Guys, you got to look good and smell good. You gotta be complete. You gotta set it down. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.